Joining us now, a, a guy who plays for one of the best teams in the National Football League, trying to get back. Really? To the are Super they one of the best? Yes, teams? One of the You're best just going to say that? I'm just going to say that. They're it's not even in the playoffs. Just they are the one of the best team? teams in the NFL. <laughs> they were racked by injury this year. They were. And look at what they almost accomplished. They did. For all the I adversity know. and the fire and the. Everything. I just wanted Pittsburgh to, Steelers, Juju yeah, Smith-Schuster. Uh, awesome, Juju, man. how are you, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's awesome just to be here um, on the show. And he, he started and off just so people too. He's like, I'm, I'm really happy to see you guys. And he's like, I really want to play in one of these damn Super Bowls. So <laughs> he's, he's, his mind is in the right place. I That's like right. That. And, and so many guys come through and say that I really wish I wasn't available to be here this week. I'd rather be at practice or at the team hotel. But I mean, you guys had uh, one of the craziest years I've ever seen. I've lived in and around Pittsburgh my whole life. And just, it's like everything that could go wrong went wrong, but you kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And I think a lot of what you guys went through this year is going to carry over into next year, just from the standpoint of fighting through whatever rough spots come up because they're inevitable. Yeah. I mean, I think for us, you know, we had a defense that was unbelievable that helped us, you know, get through the season. Uh, I think the, 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 the trade for Fitzpatrick was amazing. I think he's been a dominant guy since, you know, he's been here. Uh, and then, like I said, on the offensive side, we had to face so many injuries. That, Holy cow. You know, back to back, like, uh, to the point where, like, you know, second week we lost Ben, and then Mason's out. Now we're playing with, with Devin. And then now Devin, now we're going back with Mason. And, uh, it, it's, it's been a tough one. But like you said, we, we were still able to pull out and had a control of our destiny but fell short. Like he mentioned, a crazy year added to that we didn't even mention – his wide receiver coach passed away in training camp, Daryl Drake, who was one of my favorite yeah. coaches ever at the University of Texas, yep. which that hurt RIP to Daryl Drake. But, like, speak about Mike Tomlin and how what, – what is his effect when all this turmoil is going on and how he leads you guys? It's so crazy because, you know, uh, as a young dude, I kind of, like, sit back and I watch, like, how these guys react, how the captains react, how Coach Tomlin react. And for him, it's more so, like, I mean, the standard is the standard. You know, no matter who we have on the field, let's go out there and dominate. And it's so crazy because all I can think about is like, oh, wow, like he's composed, he's calm. Every meeting, you know, he's not one of those guys like freaking out like, oh, like who's going to play this week? Who's going to play that week? Nah, he's let's go out there and dominate. Right. What do you think about Ben Roethlisberger's overall recovery from what happened last year with the elbow injury? What, do you, what are you hearing from him or anyone else about his ability to be good to go, ready to go, the same old Ben starting into 2020? Um, you know, just talking to him, man, he's very positive. He's so excited to come back. You know, he's, it's been one of those years, like, he was so excited to play with us this year uh, that, you know, he missed it. And for him, you know, he was always around us. Even when he was hurt, you know, after week two, he traveled with us. Yeah. You know, he was being a great, you know, being a coach to all of us, being a, a great guy. So uh, I know this year he's going to be super excited to come back and, you know, come out here and dominate. And I'm excited because, you know, a guy like him, you know, I need him on the field. Well, that's what I wanted to say. I know, I know. That's where I, I mean, because to, to, to offer what Mike said, like, did this year make you appreciate Ben more? I mean, I, it's, honestly, uh, it's every time I'm not in it with, without him, you know, it's, it's tough, you know. Uh, you do appreciate a guy like that, a quarterback who's a Hall of Fame quarterback one day. And, you know, yeah, like I said, this year it's been so tough, you know, going against the double teams, going against uh, the best the best corner, you yeah, know, and not right. being able to have someone who can, like, out of the play or change it up Get to help my right, best fit, yeah, yeah to right. find the right spot. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, off of that, what did, what did you learn about yourself this year? You were a marked man. You know, the Antonio Brown wasn't there. And, you know, of course, he ragged on you a little yep. in social media and all that. You're always professional. But what did you learn about yourself? Man, I learned about myself is that, you know, I faced a week where I was out for five weeks. You know, I think mentally um, it kind of took a toll on me because, like, man, like, you understand how to come back from that and stay positive. And that's what I learned about myself my body. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm still young, so... For myself, it's like, man, I want to play it for a long time, so I got to take care of myself and my body. But I think the majority of, of all this that happened this, is this season is that, you know, anything can happen. And no matter if that's what happens, you still have control of your future. And, you know, like I said, this past season, you know, we came a long way. Yeah. And, and I want to ask you about Antonio Brown, and I don't want to dredge up old stuff, but I really am curious. We've seen things from him this year that I, we don't know him. We're right? concerned. And we're concerned yeah. for him. And how much of what has happened over the course of the past year is something you look at and say, that's even a different guy than what I knew behind the scenes? I mean, is he is, is what we've seen publicly what he was always like and we just never knew it? Or is this something different than what you've experienced? Um, it's de definitely, you know, something different. You know, for myself, like what you guys are, you guys are concerned, I'm concerned too. Yeah, right. Uh, in a possible way of that, like, I mean, it's, it's tough for a guy, you know. Uh, you, you, you 
you take away his his job, I mean his what he's been doing since he was a kid. Yes, yeah, passion. And his passion. So they take that away and it's tough the situation he's going through. Uh being a guy who's looking from the outside in, like like how you guys are going, I was like, wow, that's a different dude that, you know, playing on the field how he was. Okay, sorry. I didn't oh, no, know. I'm like, I'm, we got a rhythm here. I yeah, thought we had I know, a rhythm. I did. I didn't we know. usually well, have every a now and then. Oh, I have to rhythm. Rhythm. Oh. in four days. We, it it neither has anything to say. I, I do. I want to ask him this though. Who's the best receiver in football right now? Like in your eyes, when you look at it right now, I know you think you're awesome and you're capable of being that. But who's the, who's the guy you look at it right now? Is like kind of top of the mantle. Right now, Michael yeah. Thomas. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Has I a mean, similar style to you. Yeah, and I would say like I mean his catch radius is unbelievable. Right. Um, you know he's I mean yeah, for him to have over 100 what 20 catches you know this 140 plus, 140 plus yeah. is like is unbelievable. Right. Um, but he's a guy you know who's you can put the ball anywhere he's gonna go get it. Yeah. So, uh, he's definitely a guy I like to watch. He's your guy. I got you. So uh, from the quarterback standpoint, I mean you got three guys who can play. We talked about Ben Roethlisberger, but what 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 kind of surprised you from the undrafted guy Devlin Hodges, who nobody knew anything about? Yeah. He played at Sam. I always said it's Samford, not Stanford. Uh, what 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 impressed you about him this year? AKA duck. Duck. <laughs> it's so funny because like you said in football he's throwing a duck, which is like a bad ball, but for him it's like duck. He's and he's it's always stuck with him. Uh, what what surprised me a lot was that like he was able he had. So much confidence and swagger coming into every game. He was like in a huddle, like you can feel that with him. And I think that was like his biggest thing is that the whole offense was like, oh yeah, this dude very confident, tough yeah. dude. Uh, he he kind of had like a southern accent, so it was kind of hard for us to like hear him in the huddle. Oh, I bet. Like, oh, duck, like say the yeah, play. Say, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but what we say, he's a guy who he's at the casino playing with casino money, right? Because he. Got a thousand dollars for his signing bonus, and basically he said, "This here, this here is five hundred thousand chips. What can you do with it? Can you perform? Can you go out there and dominate? Can you win games? Or are you gonna lose it all?" So, right, he's one of those guys, man, that he surprises us a lot. All right, tell us what you're doing with Gatorade and Bolt 24 here. Yeah, so Bolt 24 um, is basically has electrolytes. My favorite, my favorite flavor is uh, watermelon and uh, sea salt. So uh, basically, it's the field, the drink off the field. Yeah. Um, when I'm competing on the field, I use Gatorade. Right. But off the field, I'm drinking uh, Boat 24, and it's lit. I love it, man. It's some good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I, this still seems like the type of thing you'd want to drink leading into a game, right? To make sure you're totally hydrated. Are you yeah. a guy that like needs to get IVs ever during the game or anything like that? Uh, honestly, it all depends. Like if I'm playing in Arizona, like somewhere hot, you might need you to get might it. need it. Right. Um, but more so, you know, I should just stick with Gatorade. That's when you know you're a freak, Mike, all right? Because, like, guys like you and me, we don't cramp up. But, like, when you have lots of muscle and no body fat, <laughs> they cramp up. It's just a different guy, different human. You guys gave the 49ers everything they could handle before anybody realized the 49ers were any good this year. Early on in the season, you had the 76-yard touchdown reception during that game. What stands out now, thinking back at that, that experience you had against the 49ers? Um, I mean, honestly, like that one, I, I was a good game. You know, for us to go out in San Fran, and, and we felt short, man. Like, it was a good game. You know, we could have had them. Um, but that defense and our offense, uh, they, they, they make plays. They make their plays. And I'm super excited to see what they're going to do uh, against the Chiefs off us because that's a dominant offense, too. Um, so who but, wins? Who wins? Yeah, come on, man. Gatorade, dun, dun, dun. Bowl 24. Who wins? Bowl 24. Oh, yeah, I'm going 35-28. Any team's gonna win it. I'm not saying. Oh, anything. what? Well, Come I, on. You're picking the score, but not a winner, huh? You're picking 35-28. Yeah, and one I of, one of, one more one of those you. teams. One of those yeah, teams one of those win. teams are gonna win. We know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of you're welcome. Win. You're welcome. Who are you guys going for? I, I, well, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm rooting for the Niners, and I think the Niners will win. You know, I, I went to college with Kyle Shanahan, the head coach. Ask uh, about his tattoo. So. What's your not, tattoo? Let's what is your tattoo? I got tattoos of a Longhorn and some of my homeboys and wow. a little stuff. Around <laughs> All right. Tattooed All right. on his leg. Hey, we've had enough of you. Can you get out of here, please? Who are you going for? I, you know, I, he picked the Chiefs I picked last the Chiefs. Night. I couldn't help it. I, I, wow. I know I, in my heart the 49ers are the better Wait, team, wait, wait. But Patrick Mahomes, there is something special that he is doing right now. And I, what? He's using reverse Jedi mind That's tricks. That's all right. It works. Let's talk about the it game. Works. I want to, you're, you're picking a damn game here. Who's going to win the damn game? 35 28, who? I'm, I'm all right, stealing, all right, okay? All right, all right. Don't worry. It's the no, first show of actually saying it. Good, so, good. Okay. Uh, 49ers. Oh, <laughs> Juju Smith-Schuster wants the 49ers. Let's light up social media. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.